Welcome to Math with Mr. V, where math is easy as one, two, three. Thanks again, guys, for stopping by Math with Mr. V. It's been hectic these past few weeks, but I'm here now, and let's get back to doing some math, okay? Now, we're going to be doing the advanced method. We're going to try and solve this equation here, and we're trying to find out what the value of x is. If you recognize, we have fractions involved here. And the key thing is to get rid of the fractions. So I look at the equation, I see, okay, there's a two in the denominator there, and there's also a three. So I'm gonna go on the side, scribble down two times three, and that is of course six. So what I'm gonna do, each term in the equation, I'm gonna multiply by six, okay? I'm gonna do that by six, and of course, I'm also gonna do the five by six. So what is six times one? That's six, so this is gonna be six over two. And I'll put back the bracket, x minus 2 is equal to 6 times 2, that is 12 over 3. Put back the x, that's going to be minus 30. Okay? We're doing it in steps, so then we are going to do some cancellation. So we're going to say 6 divided by 2, that gives us 3. We're going to put back the x minus 2. Okay? And then simply have 12 over 3. We all know how to do that. That's simply going to be what? 4. Right, so that's going to be 4x minus 30 okay the next step involves expanding the brackets so that's going to be 3x minus 6 and that's going to be equal to 4x minus 30 all right now i want to get rid of some stuff so we're going to add 30 to both sides of the equation all right it's a trademark of the balancing method so that's going to give us 4x minus 30 and of course i'm going to add 30 to that okay of course, so now that's not going to be what? Hmm, let's see. That goes, okay? 30 minus 30, that's 0. Then we're left with 3x minus 6 plus 30 gives us positive 24. All right, and that gives us 4x. So what do I have to do? I have to try and get rid of the x. I don't want x on one side and x on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. So it's minus 3x plus 3x plus 24 is equal to 4x. And of course, what do I have to do? I also have to minus 3x from that side. So, what's going to happen? Well, I'm simply going to be left with, because I have the minus 3x, plus 3x, that goes, just leaves us to 24, and 4 mi 4x minus 3x, that's simply x. That simply means that the value of x is 24. Very, very easy. All right, guys, we've come to the end of this mini series. And hey, I have to give you guys some homework. I mean, who doesn't like homework? <laughs> I'll be posting this homework on my Instagram page this Wednesday. So be sure to check it out. Until then, take care. Math with Mr. V, easy as one, two, three.